I bought five fake tools that are made very similar to the Woodpecker's brand, and I wanna know, will they measure up? Get it, measure up. Let's find out. Before we jump into this, let me know in the comments below, do you think the price difference is gonna be worth it for the Woodpecker's line? Let's go. One of my favorite Woodpecker's tools is the Poloni Pocket Rule. I've had the Poloni Pocket Rule six inch for a long time, and I just went ahead and bought this set because I use them all the time. I love this tool. Now, this is a woodworking ruler, as you can see right there. How similar are these? Man, they are strikingly similar. Let's find out which ones measure up. First off, these dupes come in a nice foam packaging. It's gonna protect them in the package. I'll put a link to all of these tools that you're gonna see today in the description and the pinned comment to help you find them easier if you wanna check them out for yourself. Straight out of the box, the Amazon versions, you can tell that the slide rule part of this is quite different. Obviously, the woodpeckers made in the USA, these made in China. If that matters to you, then then obviously the pick will be made in the USA version. On the Poloni pocket rule, you have inches on one side, millimeters on the other. Same thing on the reverse side. However, on the Amazon version, you've got inches on one side and then the other side has both inches and millimeters. The hardware for the Poloni pocket rule is much nicer than say the Amazon version. A little shinier, just looks better in my opinion. Also the anodized aluminum is a little heavier here versus the Poloni pocket rule. Not a lot of difference, but it's probably the bigger slide. The Amazon version on top is slightly thicker than the woodpeckers on the bottom, which probably also adds to that weight. Not probably, it does. The woodpecker version is exactly 0.125 or 1 8th of an inch thick, so you can use actually use that blade thickness for various things, so setting up things or measuring, et cetera. Whereas the Amazon version is slightly over that at 1 or 0.155. One feature I've always liked about the Poloni pocket rule is the fact that you can stand it on edge just by removing the slide and putting it inside this slot. And this works great if you just want to use that end scale there, which on one side is inches, on the other side, again, millimeters. The Amazon version does virtually the same thing. You can remove the slide, put it in there, and it'll stand on edge. You've got inches on one side and then millimeters on the other. One thing I've always appreciated about woodpeckers is their attention to accuracy. As you can see, I've got the Amazon version just kind of lining them up so they all at the start at the same spot. And all the way across, doesn't matter which one of them, they all line up perfectly. Six inches is six inches there, or six inches on the third one. And then you can always take this all the way out to the final eight inches or millimeters if you're looking at 200, 210. They're all exactly the same all the way across. Now, will the Amazon version do the same? Let's line up the Amazon version and see if it's the same. We're gonna use the Poloni pocket rule as our edge. Then we're gonna go across here. These two are virtually the same all the way through six inches. However, out here at eight inches, you can see this one is slightly longer by just a fraction. I mean, it's very, very minor, but if that matters to you, that's I think that's where you're gonna start seeing a little differences here. They're not exactly the same as the Woodpecker's brand, and it is so minor, it's just, just a half of a half of a millimeter or something like that. Another thing you should be able to use these for is a square. When you tighten these two thumb screws down, everything should square up. So we're gonna check that now. This is the Poloni pocket rule. And then just to the side of that, we'll put P on this side. Just to the side of that will be the Amazon version. On the Amazon, perfectly square. On the Poloni, perfectly square. So no difference there. Round one. I think the Amazon ones are a very good value for what you're getting if you want some pocket rules like this. And that's coming from a Woodpecker's fan. These are pretty nice. Now, would I buy these normally? If I'm looking at pocket rules, I'm still probably gonna go with the Woodpecker's made in the USA. Also, you know, the eighth inch thickness there, I use that sometimes to set things up. And they do have a hole for hanging if that matters to you. But for the most part, if you're on a budget and you want some really good pocket rules, check these out. Man, they're not bad. Now the pricing difference in the Poloni pocket rule versus the Amazon brand, which is a, called Violet Fox Woodworking Rulers. The Poloni pocket rule set cost me $159.99 for the set. That's from Amazon. Now the Violet Fox was $28.99. That is a giant difference in price in those two and not a lot of difference in quality in my opinion as far as what you're getting. Now, you also go back to the USA made versus China made, you figure that out on your own. I love having a T-square in the shop. I've had a 24 inch T-square for a long time, but these things are crazy expensive for what they are. 
They are extremely nice. They have some really cool features of it, but I found one on Amazon that's very close to the Woodpecker's brand for much less. Let's see if it measures up. When I got this 12 inch Woodpecker T-square in, it comes just like this, pre-assembled, ready to roll, perfectly square. However, the Amazon version, some assembly required. <laughs> I don't like that. I would much prefer them to assemble this at the factory. I'm assuming they did this for the shipping reasons. Took less than a minute to put that together. First thing I noticed on these two is the fact that the, the length of the blade is much thinner than the woodpeckers and the shoulder part is also much, much shorter. They assemble basically the same way, but again, this comes from the factory. One good thing about this is the fact that it'll only go on one way so you can't reverse it. So if you try to put it on the other way, you can't get it wrong. Both of those have the shoulders on there, which I really like that that is included on the Amazon version. I use these all the time, especially when laying out sheet goods. Because of that shoulder, it rests right there. So if it didn't have that, it would have a tendency to tip. But with both of these having those shoulders, those are on there. Checking accuracy, we use the Polony pocket rule. We'll line up, make sure the one inch mark is lined perfectly. And then we'll run it all the way out to 12 and see how well they line up. Again, perfect match on the woodpecker. Do the same thing on the Amazon version. We've got lined up the one inch all the way across to 12. Are we accurate? Dead on. Now, are they square? Because that's really all that matters on a T square. So we're gonna measure these the same way as we did the previous. One observation right here is the fact that this part of the T square on the woodpeckers is perfectly flush with the material that you're marking, where this one is slightly elevated so you can't mark past it. I think the Woodpeckers is nicer than that area. That Amazon version, perfectly square. Woodpeckers version, perfectly square. Now T-squares are great little layout tools, especially like these both have those center marks down through there or center holes so that you can drop your pencil in and say you want to describe a three and a half inch parallel line. These are super easy to do that with. These are probably some of the better setup tools for this application versus some of the other ones because of how wide this shoulder is that everything glides and just you get an accurate mark every time. Three and a half and three and a half. We'll see if there's any difference. One thing that may be hard to show on camera is these holes are slightly bigger than these. Now the opening to these looks to be the same, but these are also tapered down so that your pencil leg kind of finds center. I think that's gonna really matter if you're wanting precision and accuracy, you'll go with the Woodpecker's version here. If you're not doing that and you just want a T-square, this may be a good option for you not bad for the price. Now the T-square, there's a big price difference here too. Almost double the price for the Woodpecker brand. I paid $153.99. I've lost my mind for the Woodpecker's 12 inch T-square. Now you could get that a little cheaper on Woodpecker's, but shipping, etc. you figure that out. Now the Amazon brand was only $59.97. You are losing a few little minor features there that I actually preferred on the Woodpecker's. If budget's not a concern, then the Woodpecker's brand is the one I would go for, the one I like. I just prefer it over the other, but the other one's still super square, super nice. If you like this type of content, be sure to click that subscribe button, click the bell icon so you get notified of all the new content I've got coming. Next up is the Saddle T Square. One thing I love about the Saddle T is the fact that you can mark two sides of the board and have that line carry all the way over. The pre-drilled holes in a Saddle T Square also help you draw those parallel, or scribe, draw, scribe, I say draw, y'all may say scribe. You draw those parallel lines on your work and you can get very precise with this if you so choose. Now the made in China version of the Saddle T looks like this. It's so close, y'all. Like. <sighs> this is a direct ripoff, in my opinion. There's some slight differences in the two saddle tees, but even the way they've printed their logo and stuff on there is very, very similar. Now, what you will notice is this piece is thicker on the woodpeckers, and this piece is a little thinner. That won't matter at all as far as marking and measuring go. They're both shaped exactly alike, uh, in my opinion. Like they look almost identical as far as side to side and how they uh, look. Now this one is slightly wider. The Amazon version is so ever so slightly wider. The font is different. Again, on this font, it's a little bit more bold and less crisp to me. And one thing that stands out immediately, the measurements on the Amazon version is off. And the reason I know that is you can slightly see a difference there. See how it's a little, the Amazon version is slightly inset. This one is exactly correct. 
the woodpecker's line. And it's that way on both sides. This side less so. You can see it's slightly less so, but it's still there. Now, one thing you may notice right here is where this really shines. If you're working with three quarter stock, this saddle tee goes all the way to the bottom. This is three quarters of an inch thick, where this is not. And so when you're marking, you see that line tail off. That's where you try to make a mark down and it tails off because it won't go all the way to the bottom. The reason you're buying the saddle tee is for, for precision work. And you can see the holes are much, much finer than on the Amazon version, the Woodpecker's version, smaller holes. So you're gonna get thinner lines. And then of course, also the three quarter inch as we discussed. Now the Woodpecker Saddle T-Square is only $79.99, only $79.99. The one I bought from Amazon was $49.97. So only just a little bit of difference there. I would actually highly recommend going with the Woodpecker's brand here because of the minor differences that will make a big difference down the road. Number four on the list is the mini square. These are handy as a shirt pocket, y'all. I'm telling you, if you get one of these in the shop, you'll always be looking in your shirt pocket for it because this thing is really nice to have for just checking small, small pieces like small boxes, small drawers, ends of chisels, and tons of other little small square items. This is the way the Woodpecker's mini square comes. This is the way the Amazon version comes. Woodpecker sent it in a nice little MDF holder if you want to put that somewhere. Amazon version comes in bubble wrap. Straight out of the box, they look identical. They're also both square to each other, so I'm assuming they're both square. They're the same thicknesses, they're the same lengths, even the slots are the same. The chamfer around the slots look the same. Like this thing looks identical to the Woodpecker's version, identical. There's some slight differences in the thicknesses of them using my caliper, but the very, very minor difference. Not a lot of price difference here either. I paid $47.99 for the tiny square from Woodpeckers from Amazon, and the Amazon version's only $11.99, and there's almost no difference. So if you want a tiny square, $11.99 is the one I would actually recommend. Again, USA, China made, up to you. Number five on the list is the Mini Carpenter Square, also known as the Delve Square. Again, hand is a shirt pocket to have in the shop. I love this little square. One of my favorites, one I reach for all the time at this workbench. Now this is a not an exact knockoff, obviously, but it is very similar to another square I have, which I'll we'll show just a minute. They did paint it red. You get a, they even included a pencil with extra lead. A pen and a nice little foam holder if you wanted to drop that in a toolbox to keep everything sorted. Now the Dell Square versus the Amazon version, small square they call it, uh, you'll see some similarities and quite a bit of differences. These holes back here are different obviously and then also some different markings, different hole patterns, etc. So these aren't an exact replica but it is basically the same square with different features. Now, the Dell Square is one of those that's often duplicated but never exactly replicated. Never duplicated. It has some unique features that other squares just don't have. First and foremost, that hole right there is self-centering on three quarter inch stock, especially like cabinet frames, things like that. You can use a self-centering drill bit there. It's gonna drill exactly in the center of your frame. So I brought my DFM square in because I thought these were the exact same thing. They are not. The DFM square is extremely handy. I love this square. On the face, they look identical. They are very similar. But when you turn it over, you notice that the blade is centered on the DFM square. It's offset on the version from Amazon. So that offset makes it just like the Delve square. This is the Amazon version. That offset, the offset on one side lets you mark center of a three quarter inch piece perfectly every time. Same thing with the Woodpecker's Delve square. The shorter offset allows you to lay out mortise and tenon on three quarter inch stock. The Delve square, the same thing. Then they both have those holes for parallel scribe lines. Where these two differ from the Delve Square is the fact that they have those pre-drilled holes at those degrees. So if you needed to say lay out a 60 degree angle, you drop that included pin in there and then all you have to do is slide that up and down and you've got 60 degrees. You could do 45, but obviously the 45 is there as well. And then you've got 30, 22 and a half, however you need to lay those out. These are good for octagons and hexagons, things like that. You'll notice that the blades are the same thickness on these two. These two are very, very similar to each other. 
or similar to the DFM version if you don't mind the offset blade. You'll also notice that the Dell Square and the Amazon version are exactly square to each other, so there's no issues there. The Dell Square is $94.99 and the Amazon version is only $34.99. And the DFM version is only $44 and change, so I would actually steer you toward the DFM version if you're inclined for a small square and you don't need the offset blade for the mortise and tenon layout or the center a finder on three quarter inch stock. If not, then it's gonna come down to the USA versus China made again on the Dell Square versus the Amazon version. I'm obviously a Woodpeckers fan and one thing you can't discount is the warranty on their tools. Lifetime warranties free from defects. So if anything goes wrong with it or it's defective, then they're gonna fix it for you. I can't say that about the ones you pick up on Amazon or anywhere else. So that comes into play too, as far as if you plan on having these tools for a lifetime in your shop. Attention, my hardworking heroes. If you're in the market for some game-changing workwear, you gotta check out True Work. I've recently partnered with them. I've been wearing their stuff for a couple of weeks. This stuff is fantastic. It's extremely durable. It's kind of a stretchy material. It's also very lightweight and cool for those working in hot temperatures in the shop or outside. It has some really cool features like a built-in pencil holder, which is fantastic for you woodworkers out there to not lose that pencil. Also a phone holder, it holds my iPhone 13 Pro Max perfectly in a case, no questions asked. What I really love is the reinforced pocket where you get those tape measure and knives clipped in there. It's not gonna wear out over time as easily. Also a lot of extra pockets for you to put all kinds of stuff in. TrueWork did send me a pair of this T1 work pants and work shorts, which I'm wearing now, but I loved them so much I went ahead and ordered some more on my own because I like them a lot. Matter of fact, I've even been working out in them in the morning times in my little home gym. True Work was kind enough to send over this coupon code to my viewers. Just use the code WOODWORKS10 at checkout. That'll save you 10% off your order. I think you'll be happy with these if you'll try them out. If you like this video, check out the five tools you've never seen before. Clicking that box gets you the big old virtual fist bump. Also, another one of my favorite videos right there.